us to another episode on ASU G12 exams. So in this episode we continue looking at section C of the August 2022 Science Paper 1. So this is basically the standard O level physics. Let us look at question C3 which is the last question of this paper. Figure C3.1 below shows a decay curve for iodine 131. So what we have basically, we have mass in kg, then we have time in days. Then we know where the graph is starting from, then, and we know the last day is 44, then it's starting, this is uh, 200. So let us go and look at the question. Question a of Roman numeral 1, what was the original mass of the sample? So the question requires us to find the original mass of the sample. So what sample are we talking about? The sample in this case is iodine 131. So at the beginning of the period, when the time is 0, which is 0 days, the mass is 200. So that 200 is what the question is asking us eh, to find, which is eh, at the beginning, the original mass of the sample. So this is 200 in kg. Then what is the half-life of the sample, which is eh, question eh, 2 of A. The half-life is basically the period it takes for the sample to reduce to half of the original. So half of the original is basically half of 200, which is 100. So we go back to the graph and find the number of days when the sample is 100. So when you have 100 kg, what's the number of days? So if you come here, this is just at the middle of the box. So if you come down here, this is halfway between 8 and 12. So the number in between 8 and 12 is basically 10 days. So this is approximately 10 days. So the half-life in this case is basically 10 days. Loma numero 3 of A. What quantity of the sample are remained after 24 days? So 24 days, what's the value on the vertical axis? That's the quantity that are the remained. So we are going to go on the graph and look for day 24. So day 24 is here and the value is somewhere here. But if you look at this one, that value is not at the middle. It's not half. Okay. So if I were to divide this into uh, three equal parts, what you discover is uh, this is the second third. The second third. So you see, at the third of the 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 box which is 25 the third of 25 so to find the sample remaining what we do is basically it will be two third up to here this height two third multiply by a uh, 25 kg what we are going to end up with basically 15 two times 25 50 over 3 kg which is basically 3 into 5 is 1, 3 into, remainder 2, 3 into 20 is a 6, remainder 2 over 3 kg or 16.667 kg. So approximately this is the value which is basically 16.67 kg. So basically this is what it remains. Let us look at question B. If the sample decayed by emitting gamma rays and an alpha particle to produce new element X, write an equation for the decay. So this one is basically B. So this is iodine 131, which is basically this one, is what we are starting with. So it will be 131, then iodine then 53 then this decays by emitting the first one is gamma which is basically zero zero then plus uh, idium which is four then two then what remains 
we have this new element x. So from 131, we are going to subtract 4 and 0. So it will be 131 minus 0 minus 4. It will be uh, basically 1, 2, 7. Then uh, from 53, we subtract 0 and 2. We are going to end up with 51. Then plus uh, the energy which is released during the decay process. So this one is basically the decay equation. We move to question C. Give two properties for each of Loma numeral 1, gamma rays, Loma numeral 2, alpha particles. Okay, so let us go to C. So C, Loma numeral 1, properties of a gamma rays. Number 1, they are not deflected by electric or magnetic field. This is because they do not have a charge. So because they do not have a charge, they are not deflected by electric or magnetic field. Number two, they have small or very weak ionizing power. So these two, then I'm going to give you two more so you can choose two. Basically, they have very large penetrating power. They have very large, very large penetrating power. Why do they have large penetrating power? Because uh, the wavelength is short. So they have got a high frequency. Remember, the frequency uh, increases as you move towards gamma rays. So because of this, they can penetrate through several centimeters of ion and the lead. Then at the last one, number four, they travel, they travel at the same speed as light. So these four, you can choose any one. We go to a Loma numero two, which is now looking at the properties of the alpha particle. So alpha particle, the properties. So one, they are deflected, they're deflected by electric or magnetic fields because they are they have a charge as opposed to gamma rays. Number two, they have the strongest ionizing power. Remember gamma rays have got very weak ionizing power then a beta they have weak ionizing power. Number three, because of large mass, remember alpha particles have got the mass of helium atom. So because of that large mass, their penetrating power is very weak. So they have very weak penetrating power. This is because of uh, the mass. Then number four that you can put is basically they have a positive charge. So they carry a positive two charge. Let us look at question D. Let us look at question D. Mention one use of gamma rays. So it's a use of gamma rays. So gamma rays are they kill bacteria. So because they kill bacteria, they are used they are used in sterilization of medical equipment. That's one of the key uses. Number two are uh, base garden. They are also used in preservation, preservation 
of foods because they are able to kill bacteria. The third one that you can use, they are also used in medicine to kill cancer cells as part of cancer treatment. So basically you can choose any of these three. So please revise as much as possible. Remember it's important to go through the last five or four years. When Once you do that you are good to go. Do not just concentrate on a one paper but make sure that you figure out the patterns. You see how questions comes. So please join me as we start looking at the science paper 2 of the August 2022 exams.